Praise the Lord Church. Praise God once again. My name is Reynard Jeff. I'm from the teens class. Praise God. Before I start preaching, I will start with a short story. Praise God. I hope you're going to be blessed. There was this usher in a church. As she was ushering at the door, there's this woman who came in. This woman told her that, can you give me the front seats? Listen to the pastor very well. Praise God. And this usher told her that you do not want to sit in the front because our pastor is very boring. Praise God. So this woman looked at this man and answered her, do you know who I am? Then the woman answered, I don't know. The woman told her that I am your pastor. So this usher looked at her in embarrassment, but so as not to look in embarrassment, told that woman, do you know who I am? The woman answered, I don't know. The usher answered, I am the Lord. Praise God. So before you start preaching, we also always say a word of prayer of the Bible. And I want you to say it like you mean it while raising up your Bible. I hope all of you have a Bible. Praise God. You say, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I will be taught the word of the Lord. I have only confessed. My mind is alert. My heart is receptive. I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. So today, Sunday, we have Thanksgiving. Praise God. And as we all know that, first we say what is Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the feeling of being grateful of something. Praise God. You are being grateful for what wonders that God has done to you. For example, today morning, you have come to church. Praise God. You have not had any accident. It should be a praise that you give back to the Lord. Praise God. The air you are now breathing, you are breathing it freely. Praise God. You do not need tubes like others in their hospital who are using those tubes. Praise God. You should be thankful for that. Because those who are in the hospital, they are struggling. Praise God. So, our theme is thanksgiving. One of the secrets of life and progress in advancement is thanksgiving. Praise God. And that, as we all know, thanksgiving is a mystery. It's a mystery of life, progress, and advancement. Praise God. And thanksgiving is to golden rules. Praise God. Which are the three golden rules of thanksgiving? Number one is the recognition of help beyond capacity of the recipient. The foundation of thanksgiving is a recognition that you have obtained help from a source that is higher than you. Praise God. As like, as like students, praise God, we receive our help from our parents. Praise God. We depend on our parents so that as to get our school fees. And we should be thankful for them, for they have gone to work tirelessly to bring that food into the table, to bring that money for us to go to, to school. Praise God. If it were not for them, we could not have gone to school. Praise God. And you as parents, you should also be thankful to God for you have gotten that work to go and get that money so that you can provide for us. Praise God. If it were not for God, you could not have gotten that work. You could not have established that good work that has been able to sustain you. Praise God. In your daily life, God, for whatever we have given unto you. That life here that you are having right now, it is not by your own might and power, but by God's grace and mercy. Praise God. In the Bible, it says that our God is very merciful and just, and we should be thankful to him. For example, the people of Israel, they disobeyed God. Praise God. But God was still merciful and just to forgive them. Praise God. So, we have said that the number one God and role of thanksgiving is recognition of the power that is above the recipient. Praise God. We recognize that the power that has been established in our lives is from God. Praise God. It is not 
on our own authority but has come from God. Praise God. Mmeza kupata kinywa leo asubuhi, si ndio? Siwa ulileta hapo. It was God who provided. Praise God. Aliweza kuleta mvua so that that food ikakuwa ikaletwa kwa meza. Praise God. If angeamua kukwe in a desert place begotten for you to eat. Praise God. And by his mercy he has given you the strength and those farmers the strength to go to the farms and farm so that that food can be brought into the table. Praise God. It should be a wonderful thing for you to give thanks to the Lord. Praise God. God cannot thank himself. Praise God. He needs somebody to thank him. He's not asking for more from you. He's just asking a thank from you. Praise God. He has given you life, food, clothing and whatever that you need. Praise God asking much from him. he's not asking you to pay him he's just asking you to say thank you praise god in the book of psalms chapter 107 verse 8 to 9 it says psalms 107 verse 8 to 9 it says that huh? they must thank the lord for his constant love he satisfies those who are thirsty and fills the hungry with the good things in verse must thank for the lord for the good things he has done praise god he has done so much in your life you should have that recommend us to go back to him and say thank you that the word thank you is one of the golden things that we cherish the most praise god as kids we are told that thanks thank saying thank you is a magic word praise god when we say thank you to god It brings a recommender that this God is believing that you have understood and recognized that the power it, that is above us it is not in him praise God he's there to establish everything that we need he's there to provide for us everything praise God number two, the golden rule of thanksgiving is uh, thanksgiving is built on the understanding that the privilege that you enjoy is not a privilege that everybody has For instance, the privilege of life. Praise God. You have been able to wake up today. Praise God. There are some people who wanted to see this day. But they slept and they slept for good. Praise God. Walilala na wakuweza kuamka subu ya leo. That's hiyo kitu inafaa kukua wajibu wako kwenda kwa mbele za Mungu kumwambia Santi. Praise God. You have been able to reach here safe and sound having that life that God has bestowed in you. Praise God. Number two th thing that you have had that privilege is health. Praise God. Hakuna hapa mtumie amekuja akiwa mgonjwa. Praise God. Because ungekuwa mgonjwa usingebaki nyumbani. Praise God. Show yourself here that you are very good and well in health. Praise God. And you should be a recommendation for you to go back to Jesus and say thank you for he has given you and inbuilt you in you a good health. Praise God. Number three is also wealth. Praise God. You can be rich in the earthly pleasures, but you cannot be rich in happiness. Praise God. You can be rich in happiness, earthly pleasures, but you cannot be rich in the happiness of seeking the kingdom of God. When seeking the kingdom of God, you should be rich in happiness in this Jesus that you're praising. Mwambi asante that umeniwezesha kufika mahali hapa. Unafurahia when you unakuja kanisani. You dance for the Lord. You praise him with all your heart. Praise God. Because in the book of Psalms 100 verse 4 it says, "Enter the temple gates of heaven with thanksgiving." Praise God. Showing that When you enter this door at this church, praise God, you enter the gates with thanksgiving. See, God has done for you. Number four is education. This mostly is going to the students. Praise God. God has established a well-being in your parents. Praise God. He has shown the, your parents the direction to choose. He has given them jobs so that they can work and provide for you their school fees. Praise God. You can be there in education, reading and studying. You have gotten a good grade in school. But it's, it is not because you are very smart. It is not because you are... But God has seen that you are seeking his kingdom and asking more about this grade. And he has decided to give it to, to you. Praise God. It should, it should not be a recommendation that, that you go back showing off, that, saying that you are very intelligent, but saying thank you that this God has done it for you. Praise God. Number three, the golden rule of thanksgiving. 
Generally speaking, Thanksgiving is the key of, for more of anything. The moment you celebrate God, men, and thank them sincerely for, they, for what they have done. Thanksgiving sustains the unique character of making the person who gave you the benefits to do more. Praise God. After umejua that this power, how kukua nayo. Praise God. You go back and celebrate God. You thank your parent. Praise God. Mwambi asante umeza kunilipia school fees. Mwambi asante umeza bring this food into the table. Praise God. You sending you throughout the week. This God will be very happy, or this parent will be very happy to give more unto you. Praise God. Mungu wanafraia the heart that seeks him. Praise God. Like, for example, David was a person who seeked the heart of the Lord. Praise God. He was the man who was after the kingdom of God. That's why Akateli Kosea, Bato Alienda Baki Kwa Mungu, Akamuomba Msama, and God was very happy with this. And he blessed him. But in, in the book of Psalms, Psalms 100, 30 verse, one, Psalms 17, 16 to 20, it says that David is saying, trying to tell God, you have done more, but you still bring it more. I do not deserve it, me and my family, but you still do more. David is thanking the Lord, even though he's rich as a king, praise God, but he's still thanking God that God is doing much on his family, a sin. But he realized that he had done a sin. He went back to the Lord and asked for forgiveness. God saw this man's heart and gave more to him. And David, instead of questioning God, continued thanking him. Praise God. He was bringing more and more riches, more and more happiness in his family. And he was very thankful to God for that. Praise God. So, the, there are some of the reasons why we should thank God. Reasons for thanks. I'm going to read first from the book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 12 to 14. Colossians, chapter 1, verse 12 to 14. Colossians, chapter 1, verse 12 to 14, it says... May you be made strong with all the strength which come from his glory so that you may be able to endure everything with patience and you fit to have your share of what God has reserved for his people in the kingdom of light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us safe into the kingdom of his dear son by whom we are set free. That is, our sins are forgiven. Praise God. Dambizitu zote zimesamewa through Christ dying. We have received salvation when Christ died on the cross. Praise God. We should be thankful for that. Because if it were not for Christ to go and die on the cross, his blood shed, we could not have been forgiven. Praise God. We are set free by the benevolence of Christ. Praise God. We are set free by the stripes that were in Christ when he was bound on the cross. Praise God. That should be a recommendation for us to go back and say thank you. It is not a hard thing. Do what? Say thank you. Praise God. Praise God. Number one reason for us to say thank you is because it honors God. Praise God. We have said among the golden rules of thanksgiving, it's understanding that the privilege that we are having is above us. Praise God. Number one rule of thanksgiving is recognition that the power above us is not by our power. We have recognized that this power was not in us, but was from God. Praise God. To Kua, Christ is above us. Sindio. Christ is the one bringing us the privilege. Praise God. So, when we are going back to give thanks to him, it shows that we are honoring this person. Praise God. It shows that we are honoring this spirit. Because in the Bible it says that in the beginning, the spirit was the earth. Praise God. 
which means our Christ is a spirit. Praise God. And we dwell in the spirit of the Lord. Praise God. So when we have recognized this power and understood the privilege that you are enjoying is not a, upon our power, when we give thanks to this God, he sees that we are honoring his power. He sees that we are honoring his presence and his might. Praise God. Because in the book of Isaiah, it says that it is not by might. Number two reason for thanksgiving is when we are thankful, we recognize that God exists. Praise God. Those people who are in cultism, they do not recognize that God exists. Praise God. They recognize other beings. But us as Christians, we have recognized that this God lives. Praise God. This God is there and shall forever be there. Praise God. Because Christ and suffered on the cross for us to receive salvation. Praise God. He showed us the way and nurtured the way that we should choose. Praise God. When we go back to say thank you, Jesus recognized that these people believe that I exist. These people know that there is someone who is there to protect them. Praise God. Who is there to show them the way. Praise God. Like, for example, the shepherd who had the hundred, the hundred sheep. Praise God. He chose to go look for the one which was lost and leave the 99 away so that he can find that one and come and celebrate. Praise God. That's the same, same way. Jesus comes and leave the others who are righteous and comes to you who do not know Jesus and comes to you who have not repented and show you, shows you the way. And that should be a recommendation for you to go back and say thank you. Christ, I thank you for having seen the way. I've seen the light in your way. Praise God in your nurturing in my life. Praise God. Number three is a rule thanksgiving recognize our total defense to our God. Praise God. In the book of Psalms, it tells us that God protects and defends us. He's there to show us the way. He's there to nurture our way. Praise God. That's a way of recognizing that this God exists. Praise God. When we give thanks, we see that this person, because if there was no shield between us, Satan will can come and snatch our hearts. Praise God. Because in the book we say that this Bible is the one, this heart is the temple of God. Praise God. And this temple is not a dwelling place for Satan. Praise God. It's not a dwelling place for the devil. Praise God. And this shield that God has instilled in us has defended us from this circumstance that Satan would have come as a way. Praise God. We should go back and say thank you. Because in the book of Luke, in a similar that Satan, Uja Kuaribu, Uiba, Kuaribu na Kutupa. Praise God. He has come to steal and destroy. But this God has instilled a shield, a boundary between you and the devil to protect you from Satan, from snatching your heart. Praise God. You should go back and say thank you for that. Since our theme, give thanks to the Lord with all your heart and with all your mind. Praise God. Number four, it, has, it is a command in the Holy Scriptures. Praise God. It is a command from the Holy Scriptures. You're going to read from the book of Psalms 100 verse 4. Psalms 100 verse 4, and it says, Enter with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise him. Praise God. The Bible itself is telling us when we enter the temple gates, our temple is here in our church. Praise God. And our bodies. We have our heart, which are our temples also. Praise God. When we enter these temple gates, we should enter with thanksgiving. That's why the three golden rules of prayer, we are trying to, try to be told, A stands for adoration. Praise God. God. We praise him. We lift his name up. That's why when you're praying, you say that, I exhort you, Lord. You are holy. Your name is to be lifted high. You thank this God. Praise God. You show you are sincere concern 
with this God. Praise God. We show that this, if it were not for this God, you could not have been able. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise him. Give thanks to him and praise him. The Bible is telling us to go and praise him. Showing concern about this God. Mshukuru buwana kwa sababu ya leota mgutendea. You could not have been able. Praise God. And there are three ways of thanking God. Number one is by giving. Praise God. We always come to church. We praise him, but we are also being told to give. Praise God. We remember the story of this woman who went to church and gave two silver coins. And Jesus said that this woman, highest offering, gave the best offering since she had given wholeheartedly. Praise God. When we come to church and give our offering, we give our offering to church. Jesus sees that this person is really honoring my presence. Praise God. That's a one way of thanking God. And also, we can remember the story of Jephthah from the book of Judges. Jephthah asked God, God, be with me. I go to this war. Be with me and give me victory. And when I come back, whatever thing that I'm going to meet, I'm going to give it to you. Praise God. When Jephthah went for that war, he got that victory. And by chance, when he was coming back, the thing that was receiving him was his daughter. And he had no choice but to give to the Lord. Praise God. This, this showed that Jephthah was thankful to God in that victory. God has given you that victory over the devil. Praise God. We should be thankful for that thing that God has blessed you with. Praise God. That's why you have been able to come to church. Praise God. Number three, you can also give thanks to God by praise and worship. Praise God. That's why whenever we come to church all the time, we start by praising God and worshiping him, exalting his name. Praise God. Showing love and kindness to this Lord. We are sincere when we are worshiping, saying that if it were not for you, I could not have been here. Praise God. Showing that this person has shown you the direction. Showing that this person has been there for you and has guided you. Praise God. You should, that's one way of giving thanks to him. If you know how to pray, if you do not know how to do any other thing by giving, come to the temple gates and give thanks by praise and worship. Don't look at this person. Is dancing. Just come, sing praises to the Lord. And he will bless you. Praise God. Because of the dangers of thanking God, some of us praise God, but we find difficulty when we look at others. Praise God. We give thanks to him and see others are looking at me. But the Bible is telling us, these dangers, I can be able to conquer them. We're going to read from the book of chapter 2, verse 14. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. 2 Corinthians 2, verse 14, it says, But thanks be to God, for in union with Christ, we are always led by God as prisoners in Christ's victory procession. God uses us to make the knowledge about Christ spread everywhere like a sweet fragrance. Praise God. We have uh, encountering the Christians. Praise God. Satan is trying to snatch us away from the kingdom of God. He's trying to show us a different direction. But the Bible is telling us that God has withhold us as prisoners, has shown us the correct direction, has with all us by seeking him. We say that he's in his kingdom, this sweet fragrance. Praise God. We are in sweet, such sweet, sweet fragrance so that when you go out there and bring out his word, people are going to be are going to be drawn back to Christ. Praise God. And we should, when going to bring that nature about God, we should not bring it as if you are taking it from us, but we are expressing his power. Praise God. He has given you the might and power to go out and bring his word to the people. Praise God. And be thankful for that. Praise God. There are some people in the Bible 
who remembered to thank God. Praise God. Oh, Miriam. This woman, she was the sister of Moses. Praise God. Moses was the one who led the Israelites out of Egypt. But when they came to Red Sea, they did not know what to do. Praise God. But God showed them the way and they crossed the Red Sea. Praise God. This woman had a nice voice and sang for the Lord. That's why we have said that some of the ways that we can thank God is by praise and worship. Praise God. This woman entitled as sea, thanking him for whatever that he has done. For example, that he has made them to cross that Red Sea. Because you can imagine that this supreme being has made a big sea to pr provide a way for the people to pass. Praise God. That's how majestic that our God is. Praise God. We should give thanks to him. Like, for example, Miriam, who gave thanks to the Lord, who he has done wonders to them. Praise God. And another person was Hannah. Hannah gave thanks to him as son. Praise God. But he, she showed this thanksgiving by taking this child back to the temple, telling God, I thank you for this son, but I have returned him to you so that he can work for you. Praise God. He was giving his son as a sacrifice. Praise God. He was giving his son as a sacrifice to God. Praise God. This tells us that when you have been given something with the Lord, we should be able to return it by thanksgiving. Praise God. So Hannah was able to return her son as a thanksgiving gift to God. And we have seen in the Bible, Samuel was one of the greatest prophets in the Bible. Praise God. He was a working spirit in God. Praise God. He was led by God in whatever step that he took. Another person is Elizabeth. Elizabeth was blessed with a child at an old age. She had lived so many years, but she was barren. But the Holy Spirit to give her a son, praise God. And we know that John the Baptist was also one of the prophets in the Bible, praise God, who ministered to the people in the wilderness and many people were blessed, praise God. Elizabeth was very thankful to God for this son, praise God. She went back and said, thank you, Lord, if it were not for you, I could not have gotten this child, praise God. You can see the book of Luke when she was thanking God when Mary had visited her. She also praised Mary, but before that, she thanked God for this gift. Praise God. Another person was Mary. Mary sang a song in the Bible as a magnificent. In the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 46 to 55. Luke 1, verse 46 to 55, and it says, It says that Mary uh, praises the Lord. You can see the way she started. My heart praises the Lord, which means that it brings out that this hand is really a temple to the Lord. Praise God. She's praising the Lord with her heart. Praise God. That's why I've said that this woman who entered the temple and gave two gold coins, Jesus loved her because she gave her offering wholeheartedly. She had nothing to remain with, but she decided to bring these two gold coins so that he can bring it back to the Lord. My heart praises the Lord. My soul is glad because of God, my Savior. For he has remembered me, his lowly servant. God has remembered his lowly servant, who is Mary. Mary was still a virgin when she was blessed with a child. Praise God. She was still a virgin. She was betrothed to Joseph. But the people in Israel, who are the Pharisees, called it an abomination. They had gotten pregnant before getting married. And at that time, if you got pregnant before marriage, you could be stoned to death. But God guided her, showed her the way, and went back to visit her cousin Elizabeth. Shut the mouth of these Pharisees, praise God. Made them to keep quiet and forget everything about this child, praise God, because this child was bring, to bring salvation to us, praise God. This child was to carry us. Mary was thankful to God and she 
show that thankfulness by singing this magnificent in the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 46 to 55. It continues by saying, from one generation to another, he shows mercy to those who honor him. He stretched out his mighty arm and scattered the proud with all their plans. That's why I would say that God shut the mouth of these Pharisees. They were to forget all things about this child that Mary was. God protected her from the guilt of death. Praise God. He has brought down mighty kings from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. Praise God. We remember the story of Ahab. God destroyed this king since he was a king who followed all the things that his wife told him. Praise God. This wife only showed the, this man the different direction, showed him the direction of idol world. God killed all these kings who did not, who are not after his heart. Praise God. And Mary is thankful for that because his, she herself is carrying a king in her. Praise God. A king who is entitled to live forever. A king whose kingdom is entitled to reign forever. Praise God. She was privileged to carry this child. Praise God. Because this Christ could have just come from heaven up to earth. Praise God. He had that power. But God used to bring out this child to this world. Praise God. And this showed that Mary was very thankful to God for he, she was privileged to do this. Because one of the golden rules of thanksgiving is recognizing that this privilege that you are enjoying is not upon your power. Praise God. She entitled herself to this privilege that she had gotten to carry this child and thank God. Praise God. Another person was who was healed by Jesus. Praise God. There were ten, but only one came back to say thank you. Praise God. And one thing to amaze is that this one who came to th say thank you was a Samaritan. Praise God. And this Jesus was born in a Jewish family. Praise God. And these Samaritans and Jews were very big enemies. But this person did not see that enmity in them, but saw that I have received something that should be a person of good humility and go back and say thank you. Praise God. When you go back to say thank you to the Lord, you should humble yourself, saying thank you for God, you have granted this, but I was not able. But I say thank you for this. Praise God. Another person was Paul. Paul was, before he was converted into a Christian, killed those Christians who followed Christ. Praise God. But God shows his hand. And in the book of Philippians, chapter 1, verse 3 to 11, it says, Philippians chapter 1, Verse 3 to 11, I thank my God for, ev for you every time I think of you. And every time I pray for you all, I pray with joy. Because of the way in which you have helped me in the work of the gospel from the very first day until now. Praise God. Jesus converted into a mighty prophet, into a mighty person who ministered to the people. And wherever place that Paul went, many people are saved and converted into Christianity and followed this Christ. Praise God. Then this brought Paul back to Jesus, saying thank you. Telling him that whenever he thinks of him, he remembers the good things that he has done and he thanks him in his mind. Praise God. He thanks him for the good things that he has shared until the first day they had met. Praise God. They had met and he was converted into a Christian. He still thanks God. Praise God. And it continues by saying, You are always in my heart. So it's only right for me to feel as if I do about you. For you have all shared with me in this privilege that God has given me. Both now that I am in prison and also while I was free to defend my witness, I am telling the truth. I say that my deep feeling for you all comes from the heart of Christ Jesus himself. Praise God. Paul's thanksgiving comes from the heart. Praise God. We have said that this heart and the temples of God is the dwelling place 
of Christ. Praise God. And Paul is thanking God from this temple that is in, in him. Praise God. He's not only showing it with his mouth, but also showing it by his feeling. Praise God. Giving thanks. Praise God. And it's also encouraging us that we, when we come to thank the Lord, we should do it wholeheartedly. Bring it as if that we are calling this Jesus to entitle himself into his temple, his dwelling place. Praise God. Thank him wholeheartedly, just like Paul. Praise God. So there are some important things about thanksgiving. Praise God. There are four important things about thanksgiving. It's a prayer of thanksgiving. We have said that David was a person after God's heart. Praise God. We can see in the book of First Chronicles chapter 17, verse 16 to 20, that he's thanking God, even though he's very rich and God continues to bless him. Praise God. He's not questioning God for his greatness, but he's still thanking him because he does not deserve that blessing for he had committed a sin, but he's still saying to God, me and my family, do but still, I say thank you for that. Praise God. We can also read from the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Philippians 4, verse 6, it says, Don't worry about anything, but in all your heart, in all your prayers, ask God for what you need. Always asking him with a thankful heart. Praise God. It's encouraging us. When we go into prayers, we should first start by thanking. When we thank him, not only by our vocal cords, but also in our hearts. Praise God. Showing thanks and giving thanks, giving to him through our hearts. Praise God. Leaning unto his understanding. Because in the book of Proverbs, it says that trust in the Lord and do not lead in your own understanding. Praise God. Show him that you do not need anyone else but him. Praise God. Tell him all your burdens. Because the book of Luke, it says that and I will carry them for you. Praise God. When you bring all your burdens to Christ, he's there to show you the way. He's there to carry them for you and give you satisfaction. Praise God. He's there to bring blessings into your lives. Praise God. Number two is the worship and praise of thanksgiving. Praise God. We are going to read from the book of Psalms, chapter 30, verse 12. Psalms 30, verse 12. Psalms 30, verse 12 says that, So I will not be silent. I will sing praise to you, Lord. You are my God. I will give thanks forever. Praise God. We have said one of the important things about thanksgiving is the praise and worship. Praise God. And this is a way that the Bible is telling us. And when you come to church, be jovial. That's why when the present worship was here, was telling you to shout for the Lord, bring praise and thanksgiving to him for whatever he has done. Praise God. He was tell, they were telling you to dance for this Lord. He does not look on the way you dance. He just see in your heart that there's this happiness when you're praising him and giving thanks to him. Praise God. Showing your concern that the things that you and the privilege that you are enjoying right now leaned on your on the understanding that this person who is above you is able to provide. Praise God. Number three is the testimony of thanksgiving. Isaiah chapter 12, verse 4 to 5. Isaiah 12, verse 4 to 5, it says. It says that a day is coming when people will sing. Give thanks to for him to help you. Tell all the nation what he has done. Tell them how great he is. Sing to the Lord because of the great things he has done. Let the whole world hear the news. Praise God. That's why you see, like for example, here in our church, many people when they are blessed with something from God, they come and share it as a testimony. Praise God. 
there's some people will find that God has blessed them with a land, a house. God has blessed them with a car. They come here and break in it at a testimony that God has blessed them. Praise God. That's why in this verse in Isaiah is telling us, let the world hear what God has done for you. Let the ears hear that God has blessed you. Praise God. Because when the world hears, there will be an entitlement in them. They will see that God, this God is very just. This God is very giving. And they will go back with thanks. God, I also want you to bless me. Praise God. And when they are blessed, they will come back here and giving it as a showing of thanksgiving and give praise to the Lord and sharing it as a testimony. Because today God is saying that he has blessed you all. Praise God. Number four is the, the offering of thanksgiving. Because in Psalms 100 verse so it's in that we enter the temple gates of, with thanksgiving. Praise God. God has different ways. Praise God. That's why when I started I saying by God has blessed you with life. God has blessed you with health. God has blessed you with wealth and education. Because there are some people who see and there are some people who observe. Praise God. Those people who see, they only see the things that have been done right now. They do not observe what God can do in the next day. Praise God. They only celebrate what is now. But the one who observes, they don't only celebrate what has been done today, but thank God for what will be done the next day. Praise God. God has shown his mercies by giving you life. God has shown his mercies by giving you good health. Praise God. We should go back and say thank you. That's why our theme is thanksgiving. Telling you that whatever God has brought unto you, the privilege that you are having right now is by God's grace. I've already finished as if Christ did not come back and die for our sins. Praise God. But God has shown his mercies. He has dwelt in us. Praise God. He has given us the shield to guide us. And to show us the right direction to follow has led us in the right opportunities that Christ has given unto us. Praise God. You should be able to go back and say thank you. After that, there's some. We should look at why we give thanks to God. Praise God. And these things are the daily things that happen in our lives. Praise God. For example, we give thanks to God for the food that he has blessed us with. Praise God. Because Christ, when he was teaching his disciples to pray, he told them to ask to ask God for the daily bread. Praise God. And Christ is not only giving us the bread for the body, but he's also bringing the bread of the soul. Praise God. He's satisfying us with the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Giving us the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. The Holy Spirit was brought to us as a gift to show us the correct direction to follow. Because in the book of Hebrews, it tells us that God has given us the mandate to make decisions. Praise God. He's just there to guide us. So it is upon you to make that decision, which is the right one. Either to follow or to follow the, the devil. Praise God. When you are following Christ, Jesus is there to guide you. Praise God. That's why he gave you this gift, which is the Holy Spirit. Praise God. He's there to sustain and to lead you to the right direction, to show you in all circumstances, he's there to guide you. He's there to lead you in the correct direction. Praise God. Number one, why we give thanks to God. He is righteous and has been good to us. He is holy word in the Bible. Psalms 119, verse 62 to 65, it says that in the middle of the night, I wake up to praise you for you are righteous judgments. I am a friend of all who serve you, of all who obey your laws. Lord, the earth is full of your constant love. Teach me your commandments. You have kept Lord, and you are good to me, your servant. Praise God. This God is very righteous, and he has been good to us. Praise God. 
That's why the Bible is encouraging us. Even though this person is very righteous and he's very good, he has given us his holy word, which is the Bible. Praise God. He has shown his sincereness in us. He has showed us the instructions by giving us the commandments in the Bible. This God has been very faithful. He has shown you the things you need to do and the things you do not need to do. Praise God. Because if it were not for this Bible, you could not have known what this God wants and what this God does not want. Praise God. But this God has been just and giving you this holy word so that you can know what he wants and succumb to anything that is not in the right way and leave it. Praise God. When you do something bad, you know that this Bible has already given you that when you do this, there are some consequences. Praise God. These consequences will tell you, will lead you not to, to do this bad thing that God is telling you not to do. Praise God. So you should be thankful that God has shown you and given you all the instructions and given you all the consequences so that when you choose this direction, you tell yourself that I have followed Christ. Praise God. Follow the right direction. Praise God. God has shown me the right path to follow. Praise God. So then when you read this Bible, you know what to do and know what not to do. Praise God. Number two, we give thanks to God for saving us. Praise God. We have received salvation from the power of Christ dying on the cross. Praise God. He has shown us, he has succumbed to all, all the pain that he had on the cross so as to, for us to receive salvation, praise God, for us to be saved, praise God. He has shown us the way to follow, praise God. He has given us salvation in our lives, praise God. We should be thankful to God for that, praise God. Another thing is that we thank God we thank God, we thanks to God for answering our prayers and healing us. For example, that's why I talked about Hannah, who went to the Lord in prayers, asking God to give her a son. And God was able to answer her prayers. She blessed, he blessed her with a child. Praise God. Elizabeth was there, praying to God, asking for a son or a child. God was very merciful and gave her a child. Praise God. He showed his kindness and gave her a child. And also healing. God did not see that this leper was a Samaritan. And this leper was the enemy of his people. Praise God. But he showed his mercy and gave healing to this Samaritan. That's why this Samaritan, when he realized that God had shown his hand, he came back and said thank you. The same way as Hannah and Elizabeth, they came back and said thank you for the Lord had blessed them with children. Praise God. Even though Hannah gave back to the temple, but in the Bible it still tells us that God continued to bless Hannah with more children. Praise God. Continued to bless her with sons and daughters. Praise God. Number four is we give thanks to God because of his love. He punishes us to turn us to the right way. Praise God. God has shown his hand when he has shown us the right direction. Praise God. But when we choose to follow a different he punishes us to turn us from this direction and to bring us to the correct one. Praise God. That's why even us as children, that's why our parents punish us when we go to the different and the wrong direction. Praise God. And when they punish us, they, we come back to the right direction. Praise God. When we should be thankful to God for that. Praise God. Number four, number five is, we are thankful for the victory that Jesus has given us over sin and dwelled. We're going to read from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 56 to 57. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 to 15, 15, 56 to 57, it says,
Death gets its power to hurt, and sin gets its power from the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. The Bible is revealing it to us that Christ has given us that victory. He has conquered for us. Praise God. By the stripes of Christ, we are saved. Praise God. He has shown us that this victory has been won through him, but not by our power. And we are because, because we could not have been able to fight this battle if it were not for Christ. Praise God. He is the leader in our, in our army. Praise God. He is the one leading this battle and has won it for us. Praise God. We sing praise and we sing and praise God for peace he gives in our hearts. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 15 to 17, it says that. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 15 is to 17, it says, But if any work is burnt up, then he will lose it. But he himself will be saved, as if he had escaped through the fire. Surely you know that you are God's temple, and that, that God's spirit lives in you. So if anyone destroys God's temple and will destroy God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy, and you yourself are his temple. Praise God. Praise to God, who he has given us the peace in our hearts. Praise God. And this word is trying to tell us that whoever comes through our way, trying to disadvantage us not to reach that kingdom of God. Christ comes in that way and fight for us and destroy this being which is trying to lead us to a different direction. Praise God. And this battle is not of the flesh. Praise God. That's why that this battle is felt through our hearts and which our hearts is see that are the temple. It is where Christ dwells in. Praise God. We should be thankful for Jesus has won for us this battle, has given us this victory. The last thing is the steps for thanksgiving. There are two steps for thanksgiving. Number one is start prayer by giving to Jesus Christ. Start prayer by giving to the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to read from the book of Psalms 100. Verse 4 to 5. Psalms 100, verse 4 to 5, which says that Enter the temple gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise and give thanks to him and praise him. The Lord is good. His, etern his love is eternal and his faithfulness lasts forever. Praise God. They are to show us the right direction. That's why I've been told that whenever we start our prayer, we fast by giving you to the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why whenever you pray, you give thanks to him. Praise God. You show that you are grateful for the good of things that he has done. Praise God. Give thanks to him whenever you start praying. Exalt his name. Bring his name into fullness in your life. Praise God. Thank you, God. Be a symbol in your life. Praise God. Number two, and the last one is, should, should God that you are thankful for his salvation by telling others about the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why I've said that the important things about thanksgiving is a testimony. Praise God. Whenever you have prayed for this thing, you have received it in Christ. Come back and give it as a testimony and share it to his people. He also can be blessed. Praise God. Praise God, be blessed.